Hi there. Welcome to the virtual version of Curriculum Night 2024. I'm Beth Milstead, and I will be your child's teacher for 7th grade Washington State History. Since I'll be spending so much time with your child throughout the school year, it's really important to me that you understand who I am professionally and personally. So I've been in education for over 20 years. I've taught um, high school, I've taught middle school, I've taught in reading intervention programs, I've taught in highly capable programs. Um, I'm nationally board certified. Um, and I'm really excited to be finishing up my um, endorsement for gifted education this year at Whitworth University. I'll be done in the fall with that. And I'm excited to bring in all the things that I've learned to help create a really engaging and rigorous course for your child. Uh, personally, um, I'm from the Seattle area. I was born and raised here. Um, right now, what's taking up all of most of my time and energy is uh, my new puppy, Albie. Um, so I've been waiting my whole adult, adult life to get a dog. And in June, we made that happen. And she makes my partner Blair and I very, very happy and keeps us on our toes. Um, I absolutely love learning. So I am constantly like seeking out professional development opportunities. Um, and ways to bring um, history to life. So those are some things about me. And um, I hope that um, as you and your students get to know me, you'll learn more. So this Washington State History course might look a little different than the courses, the history courses that you took in school. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of relevant and engaging work that takes Washington State's past and connects it to the present and also thinks about the future of Washington State. Um, students are going to have op lots of opportunities to collaborate with diverse teammates and learn how to work with other people. They're also going to have opportunities to do some individual work. They'll be given some choices in what and how they learn. And um, at the end of each unit, they will uh, create a learning defense, which is a reflection of what they learned um, and what they might do differently the next time. The topics of study that we will be covering in Washington State history, um, we, we're in trimester one. There's two to three units in each trimester. We started the year by really establishing our community, coming up with community commitments, and learning how to collaborate and work with each other. Um, now we're into our Washington State Geography Unit where we're learning about the different resources and innovations and economies that make up Washington State. At the end of this unit, students will be collaborating with teams to create an interactive community board about one of those things. Um, just in time for the election, we'll be covering Washington State government. Local elections are so important, so I'm really excited that it, this is occurring. This big election is occurring this year, so we can really um, drill down into the local elections. Um, trimester two, we will explore Native American sovereignty and the indigenous communities that have been here since time immemorial um, and how their interactions with the U.S. government um, have gone. And we'll take a look at fishing rights. Um, we'll also look at how different groups of people in Washington state have been welcomed and included or not welcomed and excluded and how that has contributed to the group's cultural identity and the state's identity. The third trimester, we will take a look at an important um, decision that uh, lawmakers are wrestling with right now about what to do with dams in Washington state. And so students will learn about the issue from a variety of different perspectives and will participate in a debate about what to do with Washington's dams. And we'll end the year with Japanese incarceration during World War II and figure out what lessons we can learn from that and try to connect it to the present day. As I mentioned before, students are going to have a variety of learning experiences in this course. Um, we're going to learn how to do the work of historians by analyzing primary texts. Um, we'll use those texts to develop historical empathy, um, looking at a variety of different perspectives um, on a single topic. Um, students will uh, become like role do role plays where they become like a governing body or they become um, someone that has to make a decision and um, think about the impacts in, of that decision. Um, lots of projects and prob so project-based learning and problem-based learning are kind of my jam. Um, and so we will be like learning how to do research and learning how to express our learning in a variety of um, different and creative ways. 
As you may know, um, IMS has been using standards-based grading for several years. Uh, this means it's really exciting because it means that student grades are actually like a reflection of student learning and where they're at in understanding the state and national standards. For this class, um, students will have many opportunities to understand and practice the standards prior to formal assessment. Um, and students, uh, learning is ultimately the goal for me and for students, and so they are encouraged to reassess on any standards that they um, are unhappy with or if they feel like they can show an improved understanding. Students will always receive a rubric from me prior to the assessment, usually at the beginning of a unit. Um, and we spend a lot of time analyzing that rubric and breaking it down so that students can understand the different parts, using the rubric to look at mentor texts um, and examples to grade to see like um, what kind of feedback they would give. Um, and so that they're comfortable and familiar with the standard by the time we assess it. Um, you can always check the story of your students' learning on Schoology. So you'll see three different categories of assignments that go in there. Um, academic behaviors, such as like meeting due dates or collaborating with peers, um, are tracked in Schoology, but they do not count towards the final grade. Um, same with the practice assignments. So when we're practicing on a standard, those will go in just to kind of keep track of um, students' progress, but they will not count towards the final grade. Final grades purely reflect where students demonstrated they are on each of the standards covered throughout the unit. Uh, my experience working with teenagers is that I know that they are not always forthcoming with what's going on at school. So sometimes you might be like, what are you learning in your history in class? And they might say nothing. Or you might say, how is school? And they'll say, fine. Um, so if you're ever curious about what we're doing in class, you can check all the slides and materials are posted daily on Schoology. Um, so the slide decks that I use, any resources or materials are all there. Um, I will also be sending out a, a newsletter um, or an email at the beginning of each unit, kind of giving you a heads up of what we're going to be working on and what to expect. If you ever have any questions or concerns or connections to what we're learning, um, please feel free to reach out to me by email or by phone. Um, I am really thrilled to be here and I look forward to working with your student and working with you to make sure that they have the greatest possible education here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.